Megan the Gardener as well. It's Jesse and me. We're back. But we're back to do a kind of a different story today. We are here to do a story that we've done before in a way where we have to either make a prediction or infer what's going to happen or maybe make a connection. So today we are going to read a story called Seashells and Jessie's here. She's going to help me out with some maybe some actions later and to make it a little bit more fun for you guys, okay? So we are going to read a story called Seashells today and what I would like you to do before we even read it, I would like you to take out your piece of paper if you have it and um, if your mom and dad printed it off, if they didn't, that's okay. You can just draw it on a blank piece of paper or the back of another piece of paper that you may have at home or in your notebook. You can use your um, notebook that we've been using writing for for this as well, okay? So what I would like you to do is I would like you to make a prediction. When Miskis, when Miska, sorry, when Miskish says seashells, what do you think about? And boys and girls, a prediction is a smart guess of what may happen in our story or what the story may be about, okay? So I want you to take some time to make a prediction first before you listen to the rest of my story so then you don't know what's going to happen because a prediction, you don't know what the story is going to be about. You don't know what's going to happen next. So if you would like to, this it looks like a pause button. It's in the bottom left-hand corner of your um, screen. And you can press me, you can put me on pause and then listen to the rest of the story after you make your prediction, okay? So if you want to stop right now and do your prediction sheet and then come back and start with me, okay? Alright. Welcome back. I hope that you made your predictions already. Miss Gish was going to tell you that her prediction, she didn't draw it out, but her prediction would be that it's about some sort of beach. Because seashells are usually on beaches, right? So I'm going to say that it's about some sort of beach. Now I'm going to give you a hint. Miss Gish has not read this story before, so I don't know what it's about. So I'm kind of in the same boat as you. So I'm going to say it's about a beach, and maybe there's some kids in the story, right? Hoping so. Do you think so, Jesse? She thinks so, too. All right, here we go. So we're going to read the story today. And remember, we do a cold read, which is to read all the way through, and then we'll make it fun afterwards, okay? Seashells. The sun shined bright and hot in the afternoon sky. Henry squinted hard as he looked up for his shady spot on the beach. His shoulders felt warm and he could feel the heat of the sun on his bare feet. He loved spending the day at the beach with his family. He listened to his sisters, his sisters giggle and scream as the cool ocean water tickled and chased their feet. As the waves began to sink back into the ocean, Henry quickly got back to work to work looking for seashells. He spotted one and ran over to pick it up from the wet, pressed sand. He grabbed the shell just as the waves began to roar and splash back into the sandy shore. He studied the shell closely. It was gray and streaked with brown. The end was sharp, and Henry decided it must have been broken. He carefully placed it into his red bucket along with his other shells. So far, Henry had more than 20 shells. He couldn't wait to show his brother Avery when he got back from his run. Henry remembered how last summer the two of them had spent their days working together to find all the best looking seashells. Henry missed his brother's help this year, but couldn't wait for Avery to feel how heavy his bucket was with seashells. Henry became too distracted and didn't see the huge wave speeding towards him without notice. The heavy wave crashed hard into Henry, knocking him over into the rushing water. His bucket was swept from his hand as the wave pulled it back into the deep ocean. He jumped up and wiped the salty water from his face. As he started to turn away, disappointed, he felt a huge hand on his shoulder. He looked up to see his brother, Avery, handing him his red bucket. Together, they would start over. Now, boys and girls, that was a really cute story, and we are going to, I'm going to ask you some questions to see if you're still paying attention fully, and I'm going to see if you can answer them before Miss Gish can, okay? So it says, what was Henry working on at the beach? Hope you got your answer. Now, boys and girls, I know it's not the same of answering Miss Gish, but you can still answer out loud talking to your computer, right? Because I'm talking to you, so you can still talk to me. Henry was working on finding seashells. So good job, yourself pat on the back. All right, next one. 
Who was Henry excited to share his show with? You got it right if you said Avery is brother. Nice work, boys and girls. How can you describe the shell he found? How do we describe that shell that he found? I gave you a little bit longer on that one. You can also always press the pause button if you want to think about it a little bit longer. But it was gray and streaked with brown, which means it kind of looks something like this. It would have been a shell and it would have been gray on it, but then it would have had little, tiny little streaks down the middle with maybe brown. If that makes sense. I'm not an artist, boys and girls. We gotta remember that. So that's what a shell is like. And if you got the end was sharp, it was a good idea too because we think it was broken, which can happen a lot with seashells on the beach because the water rushes in a lot super duper fast so they can break. And the last question was, what happened when Henry got distracted? What happened? All right, boys and girls, what happened? A big wave came crashing in, right? And he thought his bucket went everywhere, right? That can happen at the beach. That's happened to Miss Gish. If she turns around to talk to someone, boom, right? Water everywhere. So we got to be careful. All right, we're going to do a little something fun. We're going to do an action read. And boys and girls, if your mom and dad don't know what an action read is, maybe they can join in or your younger siblings can join in. All right, we're going to do an action read. Jesse, you ready? All right, here we go. You can follow what Miss Gish is doing, or you can make up your own. All right, we ready? All right, seashells. The sun shined bright and hot in the afternoon sky. Can you squint? Henry squinted hard as he looked up from the sandy spot on his beach. His shoulders felt warm, and he felt the heat of the sun on his bare feet. He loved spending the day at the beach with his family. He listened to his sisters giggle. Can you giggle? <laughs> and scream. Can you scream? Ah! As the ocean, cool ocean water tickled and chased their feet. As the waves began to sink back into the ocean, Henry quickly got back up to work. Quickly run. Quickly ran back to work. Looking for seashells. Put on your spies. Looking for seashells. He spotted one and he ran up to pick it up. He picked it up. He spotted it and he pressed from the wet sand, looking at it super duper closely. He grabbed the shell and ran towards the waves so they wouldn't splash over him. He studied the shell closer. Put on your spies. Really, really close. He noticed that it had gray and streaked with brown colors, right? The end was really, really sharp. Oh, really, really sharp, right? And he could tell that it might have been broken. So Henry had found more than 20 shells so far that day. That's a lot, Jesse, right? So he really, really missed his brother Avery, though. He remembers all last summer, him and his Avery, Put your arm around your friend or your brother and sister if you have one next to you or just go like this. He put it, he put his arm around Avery, right? Because they were brothers and they spent all last summer digging for shells. And this year his brother was on a run, but he couldn't wait. Smile on your face, couldn't wait to show all of the shells he had to his brother Avery. But Henry got a little distracted thinking about his brother. Hmm all distracted thinking about it and all of a sudden a wave crashed into Henry go whoosh whoosh and the rushing water scared him his bucket fell out of his hand he jumped up from the salty water wiped it from his eyes off his face try to get it off your face he he started to turn away as disappointment disappointment means really really sad And he started to turn away. He felt a hand on his shoulder. And he looked up and saw his bro brother Avery with his red bucket. And they were going to start again looking for shells together. 
hold on to your stuff, Dan and Laura. Brother and sister, they're going to start again. That would be like me and Jesse starting again to look for shells again. All right, boys and girls, thanks for joining me in our action read today. We're going to do one more thing with our story seashells. So we've already predicted what's going to happen. We already read it through a few times. So now we're going to see if we know the answers to our quiz today, okay? So this quiz has a few questions and it has multiple choice. So we're going to go A, B, C, okay? And I want you to show me, okay? Just like we do. I do that in Miss Gish's class. I don't know if Mrs. Johnson or Mrs. Dykes do it, but that's how we're going to do it today, okay? So you can show me on your screen, okay? All right. Where is the setting of the story? A, is it at the beach? B, is it at the park? C, is it in the desert? I want you to put up your letter that you think. Now, Miss Gish might not be able to see it, but I still want you to participate, okay? So is it A, at the beach, B, at the park, C, at the desert? Nice work if you got A, at the beach, right? Nice work. All right, next one. Why were Henry's sisters giggling and screaming? A, the ocean water was tickling their feet, B, they saw a shark in the water, or C, Henry just told them a very funny joke. Hmm. A, the water was tickling their feet, B, they saw a shark in the water, or C, Henry just told them a funny joke. Hmm. A, nice work. The ocean water was tickling their feet, which made them giggle and have fun, right? We'll do one more. Why was Henry feeling disappointed? Disappointed means disappointed or you're really, really sad. Why was Henry feeling that way? A, he wanted to play with his brother. B, he lost all his seashells. Or C, he wanted to go swimming. What do you think? Why was he feeling disappointed at the end of our story? The end of our story. He jumped up and he wiped and he started to turn away and feel disappointed. Why was he disappointed? A, he wanted to play with his brother. B, he lost all his seashells. Or C, he wanted to go swimming. Nice work, kindergartners. It was, oh, it was B, sorry, it was B. Yes, he lost all the seashells. That'd be really disappointing and sad if you went to all that work and then lost all your seashells. Well, boys and girls, me and Jesse are so glad that you joined on. If you want to, you can go back and listen to the story. Or if I went too fast, you can listen to it again. But make sure you do, I hope you did your prediction first. And maybe some of you are right. We'll have to look. Me and Miss Johnson and Mrs. Dykes are super excited to see your predictions. And thank you so much for joining Jesse and me in our story about seashells. All right. Thanks, boys and girls. See you later. Bye.